thank you for coming everybody. This is New Projects of Fulham and we are a design and build luxury contractor based in West London. So we specialise in interior design, architecture, construction and also we do our own projects. So we get hold of some of West London's and other parts of London's finest off-market properties. We've been in business for 10 years. I've been here in this property for five years. So we've got everything in-house. As I said, architecture, interior design, construction. So we take over absolutely everything. Yeah. Um, so a little bit about us. This is my business partner, Rob. Hi, Hi. Hi. So, and uh, I've got Tess over there. She's my PA and Connor. Yeah, right there. And I've got my uh, uh, Aisha here. She's she's part of the interior design thing. And Mohammed's not there at the moment, no, 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 is he? No, no, so no. But we've also got we also deal with a lot in the Middle East. So we've got an international desk for uh, UAE investors. And Mohammed, he's, he's actually on a, on a site visit at the moment, so he deals with all our international buyers from Dubai, Abu Dhabi and uh, Kuwait. So today I want to talk about what we can offer you. Uh, going back sort of 10 years, I got into property and I started off as a, an introducer. So I used to go out and find off-market opportunities for high net worths in London. So basically, I used to go out and find a deal like what you, you want now. I used to package it up, I used to give it to a high net worth, and then they used to give me some fees. Until one day, one of them said, if you find a property, I will give you the money to do it yourself. So my first ever property was a little flat in Primrose Hill. So we bought that for £250,000. We spent £20,000 doing it up, took two months to do it up, and we sold it for £360,000 the first day it was on the market, very quick. So after that one, we came over to Fulham. We found a property. Can you put the, 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 the go to Holyport, please? So this was, this was my first ever project over Fulham. So basically, it's a terraced house. It was unmodernised. We bought this out of Savile's auction for £550,000. We got planning for a loft conversion, a kitchen side return, you know, when you open the kitchen up to do the bi folding doors, and we did a full refurb. So we spent almost, coming up to nearly 200,000 quid on it. The first month it was on the market, bang, we sold it for, uh, I think it was like sort of 925,000 pounds. So after that one, go to Holy Port, uh, Woodlawn. So we did Woodlawn. So Woodlawn is literally a stone's throw away from Holy Port Road, very close. Same again, loft conversion, kitchen side return, full refurb. We bought this one for 650, spent 200 on it, and again, we sold it very, very quickly for 850. So the return, that was a 30% return. It was easy, so quick. And then after that, you know, we did lots of other little deals, building up our reputation and credibility, and we built our team up with our brand, because as you can see, you know, the new brand, if, if, when you guys drive around Fulham and West London, you'll see these signs everywhere because we, we really work hard on brand awareness. Because what happens is when we do a project, have you heard of Candy and Candy? The, the, the candy developers, have you heard of Candy and Candy? Yeah. Well basically, they're a development company, an interior design company where when they do a project, they add value to their project by their brand. You know, like Giorgio Armani, Gucci Prada. We all buy these clothes and spend a thousand times more money on the branding because of the label. So that is what we do here as well. We brand our developments and our interior design so we can charge a little bit more of a premium for our service. So after we've done a few smaller projects, then we crept up to some big ones, so Tight Street. Now, I said, go to Chesterton Road. 
So Cheserton Road. Um, this was an unmodernised house, literally two minutes away. Getting a little bit bigger. Uh, the purchase price in this one was 1.9 million. So what we did here, we did a basement underneath the whole footprint of the house. So you know when you dig down? So we created 1,000 square feet under the ground. Then we did the kitchen side return and the loft conversion. So in total, we added 1,500 square feet to that property. So in Fulham, 1,000 pounds a square foot, times I 1,500 we created. So we added 1.5 million to that property just by doing the extensions. That property sold for a record in, in Fulham for 3.5 million within eight months. Um, Tight Street. So now we're going really prime. This is prime Chelsea. We bought this one with a JV investor, an Indian lady. She put in all the money. Purchase price 5.5 million. We added a basement underneath the whole footprint and that added in alone uh, 1,200 square feet. So 1,200 square feet in Chelsea, prime London, you're adding 2,000 pounds a square foot just by adding the basement. So on this one, bought it for 5.1. Bill cost was coming up to 2 million, big numbers, but we sold it for 9.5 million. So it was a, a return of 17.5, but the investor had 1.3 million back in less than a year per property. So that's prime, prime Chelsea. And then what's after this one? It's a project balance. Yeah. So this is, this is um, an unmodernised uh, property in Ballam. Currently, it is five apartments. What we want to do on this one, we've got planning to increase the square footage by doing a double extension and converting it into bigger apartments. So we purchased this one at 1.7 mil. The bill cost is going to be coming in uh, around 600K and the profit margin is going to be big on this one because we're, it's, it, it, Ballam is, is uh, sort of subprime. It's not uber high end. It's still very, very nice. Entry level, entry level for investing is quite good, achievable. And uh, the profit margin this one, yeah, so it's 76% up to 100%. So that's quite good. So that's 1.2 million potentially. And um, I wanted to, there's two properties which I've, I can show you this afternoon in uh, Knightsbridge. So have you heard of Knightsbridge? Prime Knightsbridge. This is, this is a big property. So we've got a JV investor, an Arabic man. He's putting all the money. So um, Montague. So Montague Mansions, basically it's a duplex, two floor apartment, 2,500 square feet. Prime Marleybone, this one, prime Marleybone. So it's had a full refurb. The actual uh, guy bought it for 2.8 million. The bill cost, he didn't really want to put a lot of money into it. So he wanted, to, he, the kitchen's quite a basic kitchen. Uh, everything was quite normal. So we spent roughly 300 grand to 400 doing up so far. We're still in the process. And the resale value, when this is finished, if, if it's at the peak, it could be nearly five million pounds. So on this one, there could be one million pounds uh, profit margin within six to eight months. That's Montague Mansions, uh, Marleybone. Uh, Knightsbridge. Lounge Square. So Lounge Square, this is a duplex penthouse. So Pro Harrods, Harrods is literally here. It's very, very close. So uh, my client, which is a Russian investor on this one, he invested 1.9 million into the purchase. So this is cheap, he bought this cheap. I think it was a probate. So someone died, he really got in there quickly. So 1.9 mil, again, the bill cost, we're gonna be coming in around about 500 to 600. And then the profit margin, in less than a year, is gonna be nearly one, one mil to 1.3.
So as you can see, these are you know really really prime. The deals were getting you know bigger and bigger and bigger, but at the moment the market is not fantastic on high end. So the mid range, where we want um, the Ballum or the or Fulham. Sorry. Perfect. The kitchen. This is a new kitchen in today, so it's just it's, it's the worktop needs to be fixed. So yeah. So as I said, uh, we get offered lots of off market opportunities in Fulham, Chelsea, Putney, Wimbledon, Wandsworth, Clapham, all these areas where you know it's the entry level is affordable, and the and the resale values are really high. 